Lady Go! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lace Empress here, where spirituality is our fashion statement. Today we are going to be doing Sagittarius um, New Year, New Day reading for the top of the new year and the month of January love reading, money and self-care. If you're new, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are a continued subscriber or follower, thank you so much for your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's go ahead and jump in this reading for the new year. So while I was meditating on your energy, I went ahead and pulled um, an overall energy card just to kind of set the tone for the reading to see you know where this is kind of going to go or just to give you a extra message of something you may need to hear um this is epiphany it says reveal your gifts so this is putting our sagittarius in the energy for 2021 to let your light shine like reveal yourself to the world it's time for you to step out and you know, showcase who you are. Yes, I said showcase, which means into reintroduce yourself as who you are. You know, all those hidden gifts, all those hidden talents that you have that you've been keeping to yourself or maybe, you know, not highlighting them like you should, not giving your not giving um, yourself credit as you should not allow not allowing others to see your um, true gifts keeping yourself in a bubble instead of being more open and more outward with the gifts that you are blessed with now in 2021 it's time for you to share those gifts so you already have some type of passion dream or knowledge as to what your gift is you just are holding on to it you're working on it but you're doing it in silence you're not allowing the world to see so now it's time for you to just put yourself out there take a risk whatever your gift is whatever you've been wanting to do it's time for you to go ahead and do it and if you look at this card when i was reading on this card um they pointed out that this woman has um, her arm and is spewing out gold. So it's like you made a gold, like you have gold. You're sitting on a fortune that you're just letting go to waste or not to waste. We'll use that. It sounds kind of harsh. Not waste. You're just not living it to its full potential, shall we say. Not yet, at least. Not yet. Not yet, but you will because it's kind of like it's your time. Divine timing is on your side and the universe is calling for you to go ahead and accept that you are great so that you can be great in your gift giving, whatever it may be. It could be a job. It could be being an entrepreneur. It could be sharing your gifts through a TV through i mean youtube if you want to do something on youtube it's time for you to go ahead and get that started as well so sagittarius reveal your gifts what you sitting on them for what are you hiding because i'm ready to see i want to see what y'all got going on reveal your gifts to the world you know get you some abundance go ahead ain't nothing wrong with it nothing wrong with it we're gonna get three cards for love Three for money. Three for money. And I'm going to clarify using the um, psychic tarot. We're going to um, clarify using that for your reading today. But I want to know, did y'all have a good New Year's? Is everything in order? You know, if these messages are resonating with you, go ahead and leave me a comment so that I will know. And press the like button as well so I'll know these messages are resonating so I can get into your energy more when I make more videos so that I'll know you know some of some way or form of who I'm speaking to so that the messages can come across clear to you and resonate with you and be more beneficial for your watching 
okay? More beneficial for your watching. So when I was pre-shuffling for um, Sagittarius, I seen a lot of um, like Queen of Swords as far as, you know, making decisions. You, I guess you, you're in the space of trying to figure out what you want to do. So I'm here just to give you a little push to go ahead and do it. Go ahead and um, step out and reveal those those gifts. Sorry for the shuffling, guys. Uh, my spirit guys are telling me to shuffle again, so sorry about that. You know I got to do what I'm told so I can get the right message for you all. Okay, now we're ready, set, and ready to go. Let's see what's going on with your love. Sagis, 2021. Page of Pentacles. Working hard. Building together. Someone putting in the hard work to really get to know who you are, what you are, why you are that way. They're ready to compromise. And they, they're not opposed to building. Building and working. Building and working. Okay, so we have heartache and loss. So it may be something difficult that you went through as far as building. You may have took some losses in 2020. Like things did not pan out the way you wanted them to pan out in the love department. Um, it could be something as simple as, you know, not being able to take that vacation because of the pandemic. And, you know, maybe you lost some money doing that. But this is basically saying that you still need to continue to work hard this person that you're with or this person that's coming towards you they're still going to continue to work hard even though all you know even though relationships are not all peaches and cream sometimes you do got to take a l to get to the next step so this is just saying just because something bad happened you don't let that deter you from your goal it's kind of like seeing the bigger picture seeing the bigger picture what else is going on see starting starting anew Ace of Pentacles, starting anew, getting something anew, a new beginning. I mean, just enjoying your life to its fullest capability, enjoying the possibilities of. And that also goes back to your gift. If you allow these possibilities of to take place while you are pushing forward with your gift, then the possibility of a new beginning is here. A new beginning um, the, it's just kind of like the Ace of Pentacles is like things are going to come to you. You don't necessarily have to go out and search for love. It's kind of like it's going to present itself. You just have to take the opportunity when it presents itself. Disruption. This disruption card looks to me like it's self-inflicted. <laughs> like you don't want to start anew. Like you don't want your you, Sagittarius can be a little stubborn, you know, like you guys are like, okay, this is how I'm doing it. And this is what I'm going to do. You kind of feel like something is holding you back, but really it's just self. Nothing's holding you back. Nothing is, um, nothing is stopping you because you got the Ace of Pentacles. So everything is coming to you. You're just resistant to the change. You're, you're resistant to a new beginning in love. So you kind of got to put aside old ways and old thoughts, old ways of thinking to be able to receive this new beginning in love. And there's nothing wrong with starting anew, even if you are in a relationship or if you have a new person coming in. Sometimes you got to refocus and do things in a different manner to get a different result. Because if you would like to move forward and you would like to have growth, then you have to allow change to happen. You have to allow the old to go and the new to come in. I mean, it's just perfect for the new year reading It's just to reassess what you don't like or what you want to call into yourself so that you can clear out some of the old ways of thinking when it comes to love. And this could just be, you know, maybe, you know, having a date night or um, knowing your worth when you're single and you're dating, not a, not dating the same type of people. Or when this new person comes in, it could all it could also be you saying like, OK, I'm going to take my time with this. I'm not going to rush into anything because it's a page of pentacles. You know, they're moving slow, but they're, they're very hard working. So you got to kind of take your time as well. You guys kind of meet in the middle. 
And meeting in the middle allows time for progression. Like you you don't have to rush. You don't have to be in such a hurry to do something. And that will work well with you Sagittarius because you guys are a little stubborn. You guys are stuck in your ways. Um, kind of, you know, like Scorpios, like myself too. I kind of put myself in that category. So sometimes it's good to go slow. So then that way you can allow it to develop naturally. That way you don't feel like you're being pushed or forced into anything and you can make proper decisions that will accommodate your life to your highest good. Okay. What else is going on? Five of Swords will stand your ground. So something you want to do, you may be a little angry. Okay, Saggies. Um, 2021, positive attitudes, positive attitudes. But no, seriously, you could be a little angry. It's something that's going on, maybe in your love life or something that's in your past that you don't like. And then now you know that you're going to stand your ground. But I must caution you to be careful of the way you stand your ground. You still can stand your ground and be nice about it. You don't have to be you know, angry or upset, you still can stand your ground and be nice because you don't necessarily want to be, do it in an evil or malice way because you may have consequences behind that, that you, you don't want to deal with, you know, you're getting ready to reveal a gift. So you want to keep your energy clear because you're getting ready to walk into something new. That's going to bring you great fortune and abundance. And when you're doing something new, you do attract new energy. That's why this ace, this ace of pentacles is here. This ace of pentacles is all about possibilities and promise and enjoying your life. So when revealing these gifts and you got this hardworking companion that's coming in to help you and love on you, you have to let the the necessary um you have to let the necessary anger go. Not to say you ain't never going to be angry again, but you got to let the necessary anger anger go like things that well, not necessary the unnecessary anger, like things that may have happened in the past, things that, you know, that are not a big deal, but it's just, you know, it's just something that you're carrying around. Put your burdens down. So put your burdens down, but but still stand your ground. You know your worth. You're just not going to go for any old thing. You know your worth. I think this is more like, um, th this kind of sounds like advice because while you're out dating or while you're even in a relationship or a commitment, you do have to have boundaries. You do have to let your partner know what you like, what you don't like, and then you have to compromise so that you guys will be on the same accord. So in 2021, you have a partner or someone coming in that's ready to work hard with you that wants to start over, but you want to set the proper boundaries so that you will be happy and that you will be fulfilled. Okay, Saggies. Good job, Saggies. You on the right track. Go ahead and set them boundaries. Go ahead and, um, you know, work together. Go ahead and work together so that you'll be able to turn this future relationship or future union into something really great. Let's see what's going on with your money. Your money. Ooh. <laughs> lovely. Just lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely energy. The sun. Highest card in the deck. Okay. Like I told you, when you reveal them gifts, it's going to bring you abundance. This is definitely abundance. Abundance with rest and rejuvenation. After you have completed your tasks, I'm feeling. After you have... Um, revealed your gift, you will have some time to yourself to rest. You definitely will because the sun is out and you'll be able to sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Because I feel like already you know what your gift is already. You have it in your mind. You just haven't stepped out and revealed that gift. But now it's time to. Now it's time to because you're definitely going to um, have some blessings and some abundance coming in for revealing that gift. I've seen this in your pre-shuffle. The Ten of Swords. So, it's an end to a hard time. Like, it, it may have been something that plagued your mind. It may have been some uh, financial instability before you decided to reveal the gift. When you, you know, when you was keeping it to yourself. But now that you're going to reveal it. It seems like those burdens are coming to an end. Yes. 
Yes, absolutely. Excuse me. Those burdens are definitely coming to an end. And you already know that those burdens are coming to an end because you have great intuition. And you already know once you reveal your gifts, you're going to have the abundance. The abundance is going to flow through you. You're going to have great abundance once you decide to reveal your gift, which you will because you have the sun card here. So whatever you are carrying around, whatever was plaguing you, um, whatever type of financial instability that you had, all that is going to be reversed in a good way. You're going to call in abundance. You're going to receive um, just greatness from sharing, from listening to spirit and sharing your gift. So this is an end to a hard time by using your intuition and doing something better for yourself. Absolutely. What else is going on? The nine of wands. Good. Fighting through with light. As you fight through, I like these two cards together. As you fight through, as you persevere through life, you're seeing the bigger picture. And you're probably saying to yourself, man, why didn't I do this a long time ago? Because you you've you you've had this gift for a long time. And you've known about it. But you're just sitting on it because, you know, sometimes when we have gifts, we take them for granted. But what we don't realize is when we taking our gifts for granted, we're not calling in as much prosperity as we can have because we're not using them appropriately once we begin and learn how to use our gifts appropriately i didn't say you weren't using them at all i say you're not using them appropriately or to their fullest capacity so once you begin to do that and you begin to impact other people and help other people you receive more abundance because you're you're using yourself as the sacrifice so when you are sacrificing yourself when you get into your emperor energy to sacrifice self and to put yourself out there and you're taking a chance then you begin to see more abundance created for yourself because you're doing something not just in a selfish manner but in a way of helping others too and when you put yourself out there and you're helping others you definitely receive blessings for making a sacrifice and I feel like that's what you're getting ready to do because you're getting ready to pour out pour out this abundance this gold that you have this gold that you have, the epiphany, the light bulb that went off in your head already a couple times. You're like, okay, I hear you. I hear you, spirit. I need to go ahead and share this with the world. Because you're sitting on something great. You're sitting on something great. Okay? So let's get a surrender card to see what you can surrender to. In order to keep your peace of mind for 2021, what's going to help you along your journey? What's going to help my Saggies along their journey in 2021 to give you some, just some encouragement, something you may know you need to surrender to or let go of or something that, you know, you may not know that you may want to consider. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. My throat is so dry. Maybe I have to give me some tea after this reading because, woo, it's dry. All right. Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Ancestors. Okay. At least it didn't fall on the floor. <laughs> okay. We have surrender to what is. Flow with the what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting concept, accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. Okay. I definitely um, see the correlation between love and money with this card. We'll start with love. Accepting what is when I feel, when I hear surrender to what is. It's surrender to what's in the past. Like, let go of the, the anger that you have here. So, you might have took some L's, like I said before. Let go of that. It's okay. Now, you're reassessing and you're taking your authority back by standing your ground against some things. 
because you know those things and you're never going to let those certain situations or things happen again. So you stand in your ground in love because you're calling in what you deserve, whether that is a new partner, whether that is to revamp your um, current situation as far as your current union, whether you want to revamp that or you're just calling in new energy so that when you call in this new energy, they come ready to work. They come with this page of pentacles attitude. They come ready to put in the hard work. That way you could put your swords down and you, you could sur surrender to what is of what it, what it was, what it is, whatever happened, it happened. And you don't have to worry about necessarily going down that same route again because you learned your lesson. So now you're calling in greatness and it is what it is. We take our lessons, we apply them to our journey as necessary, and we push forward so we can receive something better because we have learned from them. You know, it's just a part of what we call life. This also applies to your career in the sense of now I have this epiphany, now I see the light as far as let me surrender to what is that I have to do now. What do I have to do now to bring in this abundance? What you got to do now, I gave you a little heads up. Reveal your gifts. It can it, it could be many gifts. There's a lot of energy here, so it could be many gifts that you're going to reveal, but you have to you have to choose what, what gift you would like to reveal. Because you may have more than one. Because I keep hearing more than one, more than one. So you may have multiple streams of income or multiple gifts that will give you multiple streams of income. But go ahead and do one at a time. Get one started. Master that. And if you want to incorporate other avenues of your gift, then go ahead and do that. That's just a message for somebody. I keep hearing, you know, you don't know which one to choose because you're just so great. Well, choose one first. Work on that to your fullest power. And then allow everything else to develop. Incorporate, you know, one thing at a time. You know, you don't got to give them too much all at once. Just incorporate one thing at a time, Sagi. So we, you know. Now, don't get ahead of yourself. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. Incorporate one thing at a time. That way you have time to learn and you have time to grow with your gift and then others will as well. So when you just surrender to what is, let's get your gift. Your gift that God is going to give you when you surrender to what is. Surrendering to what is. That's hard to do. Not just for you, Sag. I think that's just hard to do in life. Sag's gift. Gratitude. Okay. Okay, I like this card. Keeping your gratitude no matter what state you're in. Because you're getting ready to elevate. So this is just, you will have the gift of gratitude. Keeping, staying humble. You see, she's kind of like in a Zen mode. She's relaxed. She it just looks like she doesn't have a worry. That's what that's what's that's what's about to happen. You're going to be in your Zen mode once you start to elevate. Once you start to push these ideas and thoughts through. Once your partnership comes through and this this grows like you want it to grow, you're going to just be happy and at peace. Very peaceful. Very peaceful, calm energy I feel with that card. Just, I have so much gratitude for where I've come from. And I have gratitude for where I'm about to go. And it's also a grateful attitude as well. It's a grateful attitude because you know that you're about to have this abundance. You know you're about to be blessed. Okay? We're going to get two archetype cards, or maybe one or two, to see what characteristic that you're going to take over with you into 2021 and you're going to use that as your highlight characteristic to kind of bring in this abundance in money and love okay it may be something you already know or it may be one that you forgot you had i'm just here to remind you <laughs> i'm just here to remind you okay sagis i am just here to remind you Let's get your archetype. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Sagittarius, Sagittarius characteristic. What's going on, Sagittarius? Oh, okay. That one fail. <laughs> that one fail. 
So this says gambler. So every time I do these cards, these archetypes, I have to say, don't look at the words or the title of the card. Listen to the message because the message is what gets me with these cards. Because sometimes some of the names is a little bit off, but the message, the message says the characteristic um, of this card is willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you that goes right along with your intuition here double confirmation you have great intuition like i said in the beginning of the reading i said you know what to do you've had these gifts for a while you know how to bring the sun out okay you know what to say what to do at the right time and you're following your intuition when it comes to love as far as starting a new laying some ground rules and you're also following your intuition when it comes to your money you're going to reveal your gifts and pour out some of the gold you're going to share some of the gold you know that's inside of you so that you can be a blessing to others and then that will call in your abundance. You're using your intuition to put an end to whatever's burdensome to you, whatever, you know, um, instability financially that you had because now you're going to go a different route that's going to call in um, this abundance in your life. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. You're persevering through it. And you're definitely going to be a light for others. They're going to see your growth. And they're going to want to follow that path. So that that actually helps the community. It helps people. It helps them grow when they see others doing well too. And they will feed off of that energy. That, you, that good stuff that you put out there. You're going to get that back in return. Okay, Saggies. Thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying this new year, new day, 2021 reading with me. And until next time, let intuition be your guide.